In today's world, streaming platforms have become our go-to entertainment hubs, and Netflix leads the pack. But what makes Netflix stand out isn't just its massive library of shows and movies. It's the sophisticated recommendation system that's constantly learning your preferences, analyzing your viewing habits, and predicting what you'd love to watch next. From personalized suggestions to customized trailers, Netflix's algorithms have mastered the art of knowing your taste. But how do they do it? Let's dive into the world of data-driven entertainment and uncover the secrets behind Netflix's recommendation engine. The popularity of Netflix comes from a great algorithm that hooks you, not only from its enormous library of series and films. Imagine this, you slink into your sofa after a long, demanding day, put on Netflix, and start looking for anything to view. Your home screen shows a list of titles right away that seem to exactly complement your mood. Though there is much more to it, it feels like magic. The intelligence engine known as Netflix Recommendation Engine (NRE) drives that flawless experience by knowing and forecasting your viewing preferences. Without this recommendation engine, Netflix thinks it may lose over $1 billion annually from members who would leave irritated with not finding something they enjoy. Being the top streaming platform in the world depends on Netflix's capacity to keep users interested, given over 139 million paid members spread across 190 countries. Although a large material library is a major factor in its success, personalizing, which Netflix has perfected with its advanced algorithms, is actually the game changer. The NRE is a combination of sophisticated systems that sift through more than 3,000 titles using 1,300 unique clusters to identify what would interest every user. It is not a single algorithm. Consider it as a team of digital curators sorting through countless opportunities to provide a customized choice just for you. Over 80% of viewing activity comes from this clever mechanism which shows Netflix just how to grab your interest and hold it. Whether you're rating a movie, seeing a series, or even looking for a title, every time you use the platform, you are contributing data that informs the NRE. Using this information, Netflix's computers understand your tastes, hates, and routines. They consider, for instance, your viewing schedule of a certain show, your most active time of day, and even your frequency of fast-forward or reverse playback. Every bit of data contributes to creating a more accurate image of your preferred taste. That yields a home screen loaded with ideas that seem nearly personally chosen for you. Fascinatingly, this customizing begins the instant you open an account. Netflix asks you to choose a couple of titles you enjoy throughout the setup process. This is how the algorithm starts its learning process and it is not only a nice approach to get you going. The engine keeps improving its recommendations as you keep using the platform, changing with your taste. Perhaps you were on a true crime kick a month ago, but right now, perhaps you enjoy breezy comedy. The NRE notices that change and modifies your suggestions. Furthermore, painstakingly calculated the manner in which Netflix offers these recommendations. Opening the app reveals horizontal rows with titles categorized under continue watching, trending now, or award-winning dramas. Every one of these rows is unique, not only in terms of the contents, but also in terms of their sequence. Less appealing ideas descend the screen. The most relevant rows, those with the highest chance of attracting your interest, are found at the top. There are three degrees of personalizing in this framework. First, there is the category name, that which Netflix refers to as the row title. The system then, based on your viewing patterns, which particular series and movies belong in that category. It then sorts the titles to highlight the most interesting possibilities first. The NRE forecasts which arrangement will be most interesting for you using cutting edge techniques, including matrix factorization, causal modeling, and reinforcement learning. Though they sound difficult, these methods all have one straightforward goal. They smooth out, speed up, and increase enjoyment of your browsing experience. How then does Netflix compile the data driving the system? Every interaction with the platform records a fact. 
It logs your watching history, show length, device use, most active time of day, and even the number of times you have stopped, rewound, or reviewed a given scene. Netflix notes that too, if you merely tune in for a few episodes each night, or binge watch a show over a weekend, every little detail, including looking for a certain actor or genre, is noted. This abundance of data guarantees that the algorithm will keep you interested by helping it forecast what you wish to view next. It's amazing how Netflix recommends episodes without depending on demographic data such as gender or age. When you launch the Netflix app, the company believes it has roughly 90 seconds to attract your interest. Should you not find anything appealing in that limited window, you are more likely to close the app completely. Data usage by Netflix transcends simple prediction of what viewers would like. Analyzing trends helps the site choose what original material to produce as well. Given the large financial risks involved, $13.6 billion for regular content and $5.21 billion for original production, Netflix uses statistics to guide more wise expenditures. The company has attained a 93% success rate for its original shows, a clear contrast to the 35% success rate for traditional TV programs, which frequently depend more on intuition and luck. User data guides content production. Once an original series is created and launched, Netflix uses data once more to guarantee efficient promotion. They create several versions of trailers for one program by use of focused marketing campaigns. Every trailer is meant to appeal to several target groups so that viewers will find something they can relate to. For instance, Netflix knows how to make use of a series like The Queen's Gambit's global hit and millions of views if it becomes such. The Queen's Gambit attracted viewers with over 62 million views and a top 10 ranking in 92 countries. Netflix then utilized this information to propose similar historical dramas such as Peaky Blinders and The Crown. This relates more than only to the genre. The Netflix algorithm might potentially draw attention to shows with comparable share casting. Anya Taylor-Joy, for example, who appeared in The Queen's Gambit, might show up in a Peaky Blinders trailer, even if she isn't a major character. Playing on recognizable faces, this strategy attracts viewers by strengthening links that inspire them to click on the following title. Every tip in Focus Trailer has a roughly 90% chance of catching user interest, therefore showing how data-driven approaches increase engagement. Sometimes, though, this degree of personalization raises questions. Content bias is among such problems. Some consumers have observed that Netflix's algorithm seems to suggest items depending on race, which results in targeted advertising methods causing controversy. For a show, Netflix designed several iterations of title cards or artwork, including several actors or scenes. Although it's a marketing technique meant to grab a user's attention, it can seem biased if particular actors are emphasized depending on the presumed color of the observer. For instance, the movie Set It Up features actors of many races, and viewers have noted that the title card they saw usually corresponds with their own racial identification. Many consumers feel differently, even if Netflix argues that demographic information has no influence on their algorithms. This debate emphasizes the thin line separating providing a customized user experience from entering the awkward ground. Filmmaker Toby Aramu expressed worries about Netflix's strategy in an interview with The Guardian. If something is black, I take no offense in being catered to, he remarked. I am black. Give me black entertainment, but don't take something that isn't and try to present it as such. This comment emphasizes the difficulty facing businesses like Netflix in keeping a balance whereby algorithms improve the viewing experience without deceiving or alienating consumers. Notwithstanding these issues, many customers are ready to provide their data in order to improve the user experience. According to reports, 83% of respondents are willing to provide personal information, provided it results in more tailored recommendations for content. 
Furthermore, 90% of customers are ready to disclose behavioral data for a more flawless and reasonably priced service. 80% of them are more likely to buy from companies that fit their experiences. Personalization is no longer a luxury in a world where digital platforms fight valiantly for your attention. It is a need. Personalized experiences have become the standard, whether it's Spotify suggesting your next favorite music or Amazon recommending items you might wish to purchase.